is Thursday, despite the fact that I'm about to treat it like Friday, but we're maxing, not really max, we're working up to something heavy. I'm not gonna say maxing until I can like hit heavier lifts, but I'm going to be gone this weekend at a bachelor party in Palm Springs. So, we're gonna go heavy today, we're gonna hit a full upper body session, and that's it. The, we are a week away from the new program dropping, or I am right now. You might be like five days away. If this comes out on Saturday, you're five days away. It comes out on Thursday, next Thursday. So, we're almost there. It's perfect. It's a work of art. But I'm gonna warm up for Snatch. My legs are sore, so I'm gonna have to move around a little bit, but we'll see what happens. Where are you going? You know Zach's not coming today. I, I'm gonna rant about a few things in this YouTube video. The first thing is if you do your what I eat in a day and you post it on Instagram and you're eating off of a wood wooden cutting board, go fuck yourself. I don't like that. Here's an avocado, a peach, three eggs, and some flank steak. Cool. And a handful of almonds. And some salt. It's like, cool. And then you ask them why, and they're like, this is how we're meant to eat. This is how our ancestors ate. Their ancestors died at 22 of fucking cholera or some shit. It's like, that's the holiest way to go. And then they'll pull out their fucking device that if you pulled that out in front of your ancestor, they would have beat you with a stone until you were dead because they thought you were some kind of wizard. And then they'll be like, this is what I ate. And then they'll be talking about screen time and shit. The optimal bro wave that's hitting Instagram is my least favorite shit. It's like the most disguised form of fear mongering I've ever seen. It's like if you're don't if you if you don't turn your Wi-Fi router off at night, you're exposing yourself to excess EMFs and you're gonna die. We're all gonna fucking die, dude. Okay. I'm angry. I've just been bottling this up for so long, this whole Optimal Bro shit. She's bottling up. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're using a non-stick pan? Have fun dying. It's like, yeah, I'm using a non-stick pan. Have fun using a fucking tusk from a hog to scrape the scrambled eggs out of your stupid overused cast iron skillet, you piece of shit. People eating eggs out of cast iron skillets are eating the same eggs they cook a week ago, because you can't clean that shit out very well. If your pride is that damaged to where you can't use a plate, get off Instagram and make some friends. Make some good friends. Get a girlfriend, get a boyfriend. Get something that makes you feel like you don't need to eat off of a piece of wood to feel good about yourself. Oh, here's another thing. If your coach gets mad at you for going off program and hitting a big PR, your coach cares more about having control over you than your progress. Because if you hit a PR in a lift, that's literally what you're training to do. That's the whole point of this, is to get better at weightlifting. If you hit a PR, you got better at weightlifting, but the coach is gonna get mad at you for getting better sounds to me like they're getting mad at you because you didn't listen to them and that's all they want they just want control whenever i coach and athletes would go off program and suck i'd get a little angry because like probably wasn't time for you to do that but every time i had an athlete go off program and do really really well i was a very very happy coach because i just want them to get better but if your coach is like oh well didn't count wasn't programmed it's a big red flag to me Oh. 
All right, snatch feels like shit, so we're calling an audible and we're just gonna do some technique stuff. So we're going down to 90, tempo snatch. We're gonna b jump by five kilos. Tempo snatch is like, I think it's the greatest variation when it comes to developing feel and athleticism in your lifts. Like if technically you're perfect, but you break down hard at heavier weights, tempo snatch is what you need. It's gonna teach you how to hold position when the bar is not moving as fast as you're used to it moving. That way you still have a chance when you're pushing past the limits you have set for yourself right now. When your snatch is sick, tempo snatch is NyQuil for your snatch. Just give your snatch a little bit of tempo and it'll start feeling better real quick. Whoa, whoa. So that was actually a good snatch session. I was just feeling fucking disconnected. Um, been running a lot which is part of the program that's coming up we'll we'll disclose that now um, mainly because it's a program that helps you get in shape and be an in shape strong person because being a weightlifter is not a fucking healthy endeavor a lot of people think like oh you're in the gym doing all this. it's like it's not that healthy like you're eat you can do it in a healthy way it's just way more challenging so I was when I was doing it I was eating hard gaining a lot of weight taking tons of caffeine taking Advil all the time doing all this shit to keep my lifts afloat this program's about like keeping your health as the priority while also getting strong and adjusting to it's been tough and especially the running like my hamstrings haven't had stimulus like that in fucking 15 years like i've been ran since i was like in middle school so took a lot of adjusting but we are feeling better that 115 tempo was like a good snatch it felt how it should feel through the hip so now we're gonna do cleans and Honestly, if we work up to a solid 140, and that feels like the number for the day, we'll call it there. Uh, not trying to do anything crazy, it's a fucking Thursday. The weightlifting gods do not want you to do well on Thursdays, so don't ever make Thursdays your heavy day, it never works. But we're gonna hit something decent that we're happy with, and we're gonna wrap this shit up and go home because I gotta go to California tomorrow. Tell them what you're doing. I told them. I'm going to a bachelor party where we're playing golf. It's my like one, real vacation a year. All the other traveling I do is for this. This is the one time I get to travel where it's for me. So. Me time. It's just me time, me and my boys. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I've been posting lift ratings on my Instagram. If you want me to rate your lift, go to my Instagram DMs. The link to my Instagram is down there. If somehow you're following this and not following me there, you're a unicorn. I don't. That's a very rare occurrence, but DM me on Instagram, the words lift rating or lift review. And if you get approved, I will message you back and tell you to send me a video and I'll post it. And I'll either roast the fuck out of you or tell you did a good job. The rest lies upon your technique. And if you want to get your technique better without having to do all that, just check out the technique manual links down there. It's a whole book full of everything you ever need to know about the Olympic lifts. Mm. That's it for today. Feeling pretty beat down because typically you have more rest from your leg day to this workout. I did it a day early. So we're, we're a little tired, but that's it for today. The next video you guys see is going to be a complete day of training on the program. 
that's coming out next Thursday. So it'll be the announcement, all that good stuff. So stay tuned, make sure you look at that. I feel like a lot of you guys will be interested in that. Go to Barbell Apparel. It was fucking raining like a motherfucker today and I was training in pants. It was like high 80s and raining, humid as fuck. And I was completely comfortable because I'm wearing my ultralight joggers. And if you're someone like me that absolutely cannot train in shorts, these are what you need for the summer. So get a few pairs now. You can get them with the Dozer logo on there. Links down there. Gorilla Mind Supplements, best shit in the game. Use it. And of course, if you want to get better at weightlifting, weightlifting's your main goal. It's what you're passionate about. There's no better place to get better at it than the dog pack. So get signed up for that. And I will see you guys next time.